long story, but I'm telling you, you just want to be in front of the camera, don't you? You focus. Look even more beautiful once we fix your stomach. Osama bin Auckland. Yeah, the Al Qaeda tried to recruit him. You know what he did? He sent them all to their 72 virgins. That's what he did. It's like Godzilla. <laughs> that would suck. Because how would you talk? You need to go do it for you, wouldn't you? I can barely fucking talk to myself. Let's see if that works. back in the blanket, because only then are you really that uh, safe. I can't make sure you don't scramble away unless I keep you wrapped up in a blanket. And now, you get you nice and ornery, and you open your mouth and say, ah. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, you're such a good boy! Boy, this shirt looks stupid. Good thing you came in. My hair looks pretty crappy.
A boy and his gecko, isn't it sweet? Cause I'm a voodoo child, Lord knows I'm a voodoo child. Down the middle of the It's okay. I'll bring this, uh, I'll put this in the refrigerator soon enough. Right here, I won't forget it. I put his Ziploc bag back in the refrigerator and uh, didn't put the Medicam back along with it. Oh well. I'm so stupid. I thought maybe I had time to have a beer. It's almost like one o'clock in the afternoon, and I gotta be to the vet at veteran veterinarians at three thirty, right? That's so silly. I'm so silly. I'm a voodoo child. Lord knows I'm a voodoo. <laughs> I'm funny. I'm a funny guy. Boy, you think this is funny? Ventilate your throat. Uh oh, that felt sharp. What's up with that? Oh, oh my. That's not good. That is sharp. It's a bummer. Look at that shit. That's a new problem. Got metal. It's gonna cut my ear probably one of these days. Yeah, oh well. I'm so worried about him, but it's okay. I I just I gotta have a little bit of faith, I guess. You know, know what I mean? I feel like I've made a well-informed choice. You know, and I have. So there. If this doctor can't help him, I give up. He's just gonna have to live in pain for the rest of his life. Just like me. That's great. But that's not gonna happen. Because uh, I'm not really cursed, right? I think that's how it works. When you're cursed, it affects everyone around you. Talk about a head trip. <laughs> that would suck. I suppose if that were the case, though, um, the other, you know, everybody else would be in even worse shape. Not that anybody is really in great shape, but hey man, alive is like pretty good shape by my standards. Yeah. What do you think? It's one, it's 15 to one. I think I should play for about an hour. I can't believe I just found out about this title. Like, I, I guess it's been out since March. So. Oh, is this done? Yeah, I already took the training and I uploaded the video to Internet Archive. I'm sorry, I'm in the middle of, um, I'm almost done. Let's see, is it done? Is it done? Guy's name Farqua? Isn't that the character? Or... Here, let's see. It's too br- Get it. <laughs> ah! It's funny, cause it's button! And also slogan! Ah ha! Ha ha! 
<laughs> What's that guy's name? Farqua? Yes, JJ, that is Farqua, I believe. Alright, shall we? Shall we? I think we shall. Let's check this out. And hopefully it plays like Phoenix Wright. Because uh, that Ace Attorney, he's he's got a good game franchise. Let's hope this Sega game plays like a Capcom game. Okay. I'll read aloud. It says, Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. New game, continue. The options don't have much. We got text, credits, copyright. Graphics and audio, I got the graphics maxed out. Okay. Full screen, SFX volume, music volume. Assist mode, we got invincibility, remove pitfalls. Okay. I'm not using a controller, so I'm just checking this out. Can you hear that? Phew, made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. You can't, huh? Here, do we have a desktop uh, audio setting? Gosh darn it, I forgot about that. All right, who needs headphones? Not me. And you know, my chroma key looks so crappy. Who needs a light? There we go. Um, and who needs to see me? I don't. You don't. All right then. Phew, made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So far, so good for my first day on the job. What is this guy, some kind of a train conductor? What's going on? Oh, I totally forgot. My name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. Oh, okay, maybe he's like a clerk or something, I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty common. Seeing little furry creatures working jobs. Sure. I'll just sign my name here. Hello, my name, oh, is that supposed to be me? I see. <laughs> What's up, Zot? Zot, did I spell that right? That's my name. Or that's your name, buddy. Hope passengers can read my scribble. Sounds like something I'd say. <laughs> oh, I knew it. It would have something to do with. He's like helping out on a train. He's not a conductor though. He's more like working the bar. It sounds like for the dinner. T He's like a waiter. Uh oh. Am I nervous? Oh. Am I nervous? Is this first day on the job jitters? It's like wondering what is this strange feeling of nervousness. Working the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, Zot, shake it off. Yeah, man. Slap! Ay, carumba. That's not too normal. Oh, that's the conductor. Did I just see you hitting yourself? Uh, m m Mr. Conductor, sir. How are you doing this morning? Oh, ho, ho, ho. quite all right, myself. Though feeling a little bittersweet. Is everything all right? Is that because you're a sweetie? No, I'm not gonna say that. Is everything all right? Well, truth be told, not really. Oh. Alas, today's my last day as a conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. That's cool, man. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. 
Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got our plane tickets to Spagonia locked. Our shower has been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotels. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. My shower has been on the fritz too, if you know what I mean. It's been on the fritz, that's all I mean. Um, I can see why your wife's excited. <laughs> you smelly bastard. <laughs> Enough of my quibbles. Today is your first day working the dining car. Here's the menu for today. Menu added to your inventory. All right. I can open the inventory anytime. Or, stu uh, sorry. I can open the inventory anytime to view items I've received. I should look over the menu carefully. Ah, I see. Items. Menu. The Mirage Express dining menu. It features chili dog, instant ramen, and chicken cordon bleu. Sacre bleu! That sounds pretty tasty, all of those. Wonder what kind of ramen. Think they got the whole gamut? Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. <laughs> oh, I guess we're uh, expecting a gas explosion. Is that why we're nervous looking? <laughs> That's not funny. This guy really needs to retire, all right? He's got a he's got a strange old-timey sense of humor. He don't fit in no more. Though, I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Oh boy, ramen, chili dog, and chicken cordon bleu. I'd have to say, yeah, this one. Ding, 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 glad you can read the menu. Okay, ha 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 uh, a little about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art high-speed smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventure together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I can't blame him for being wistful. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. Well, what's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. Guests will be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that, you'll be on your own. So, I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken of, care of, uh, understood. Um, I'll make you proud, sir. I can't afford to lose this job. Well, I think I'll make you proud, sir, is... <laughs> Glad this old man can rest easy. Doors to the Mirage Express are opening. All aboard! What a sleek vessel. Is this Montana? Are we in the hills? You know, the ones. Wow, this train is invincible! What fascinating tech! You're right, Tails! I can get used to staying on a train like this! What did you all expect? You know, I always go all out for my birthday party. Oh, this train's as elegant as you are, Amy. 
can't promise I won't take anything though. Eh, yeah, calm down there, rogue. Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? It was a pen. No. Oh, sorry. It was a pen, knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen? Uh, what, what cast of characters am I stuck with? Get a hold of yourself, Zot. You're sweating through your uniform. Hey, pal. Can I get one of those chili dogs? Radio friend. Well, aren't you friendly? Why can't I be normal for one second? Shouldn't that have a question mark? I don't know. I ask myself that question enough. Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's roles to get food. Uh, that doesn't sound like Sonic. He's super fast. He could zip to a freaking McDonald's and back or whatever the hell he wants for that matter. <laughs> Sorry about that birthday girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, Zot, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk with, and we'll collect their ticket. Okay, got it. Yeah. Ah, well, hello there, handsome. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? Oh, good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My, my, how forward. Let me fetch it for you. Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. <laughs> Gonna have to kindly ask for that back. <laughs> um, this is getting awkward. Oh, was this yours? Must have slipped out. Here you go. I may not actually be the best at judging character. Yeah. Lucky you're not the one that got scammed, and lucky it was the conductor, right, Zot? Let's go talk to Tails. Oh, can I get your ticket, youngin? It's all like Sherlock Holmes doubt. Right here, sir! Oh, thank you! May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. Okay. Think that's any good? How do you think they make it sparkly? Yeah, whatever, man. Tails, he's always got some kind of clever thing cooked up. Uh, no way! I, I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me, too! It's my first day, and I was a little nervous.
Don't be nervous. You're doing great so far. We're Sparkle Gelatin Buddies. Uh huh. <laughs> ha 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 ha! Absolutely. Uh, if you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. <laughs> yeah, dude. Sure. Just a couple of normal, like. I'll be nice. Just a couple of nice sparkle gelatin eaters. There you go. That's I'm nice. I was gonna say, yeah, a couple of normal dweebs. <laughs> uh, we gotta talk to Sonic. Uh, ticket, please. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself aboard. He's a little bit take, taken aback. He's in awe of Sonic and his famous face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I just like helping. Or helping. Yeah, we okay. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst. But my kids swore you would swoop in eventually, and you did! I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Oh, wait a second. Is, is, is he Sonic the Hedgehog? I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Yes, have fun now. Will do, thanks. Okay, do we gotta talk to everybody? Cause like, yo man, what time is it? Yeah, all right, we, we still got time. Here, let's go talk to Shadow. Um. Oh wait, is that Knuckles? Let's talk to Knuckles. The Echidna. Howdy! Could I please see your ticket? It's all crumpled up because he's got those boxer glove hands of his. I think that's a ticket. But, but I really don't want to argue with this guy. Me neither. Everything looks good. Thank you. And it seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. Yeah, he's about to retire. He doesn't need any problems on his last day. Hmm. Okay. That went well? Sure. Birthday girl? Nah, let's go talk to Shadow. Come on. Here! Oh, my bad. Shadow's all like, here. Thank you. Everything is in order. And he seems concerned about something. He's Shadow. He's like always kind of like brooding, if you know what I mean. He's like the Batman of the Hedgehogs, man. Okay? Is there anything we can help you with? Do you sell gift bags here? Oh, no, sadly. I have a plastic grocery bag in the back. I could could I get it for you?
That's there. Brr, so cool. Zot, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? What a nice conductor. So thoughtful. He's almost fatherly. Uh, no, no, I'm good. Uh, hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Let's see, how did I do this voice? I was like, all right. Well, yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. Uh, he seems to be avoiding eye contact. Is something amiss, sir? Uh, I seem to have um, misplaced my ticket. Uh, could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket! Oh, you know where it is! He's hiding his embarrassment very well. Yeah, right. Uh, don't... Uh, um. uh, don't worry. We'll take a look around for you and see if it comes up. be amazing. Thanks a million. It seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. Okay. That's part of the game. All right. We'll be looking for his ticket. I guess we don't have to get Shadow a plastic grocery bag. So, I mean, like what? Can we look for the ticket now? Let's just save while I'm here. Okay. Um, that's about it. Oh, resume. Yeah. So, there's like nowhere to go there. Um, uh, can I click on the door? Whoa, what's up with, what's up with that, huh? Ooh, welcome aboard the Mirage Express. Fancy. Nice, uh, nice train, right? Oh, what's up with that? Mmm, yummy! Don't mind if I do! Zot! Those are for the guests, you know! Ain't train- Oh, sorry. I thought it was the robot talking. The train? Be sure, Zot! Only gets one of those if he they ask. Uh-huh. How does... What does that mean? Train B. Sure Zot only gets one of those if they ask. He's calling us they? Okay, that works. Is that supposed to be like a whatchamacallit? A, a proverb? Pronoun? A pro... Uh... Yeah, okay. It just sounded like plural. It threw me off. Like the group was asking. Did I... Did... Did the arm just kinda nod? Actually, uh... The train? The conductor wants me to have the whole plate. <laughs> Good try, young buck. Okay. I guess we got some AI or something. At least whatever it is, it can obey orders. It's programmable. 
The train and I have worked together a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. Yeah, I'll just be like, oh, that, that's cool. You're his little bitch, huh? You just do everything you're told, you little bitch. Yeah, I'll bet you take it, huh? He's the pitcher, you're the catcher. Yeah, I guess that's what's up. Back in my day, that would have worked on just about anybody. So. Plant that insecurity seed. You know, uh, anyhow. Drat! Those snacks look really tasty, too. Let's see here. All right. Uh, what's up with what's up? What's up? What's up? Uh, could we please see your ticket? Check this out. Of course. <laughs> Excellent! Thank you! And I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely, I appreciate it. <laughs> There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. Okay. What fancy hands. Look at those fancy gloved hands. <laughs> They practically look human. Fancier than the uh, conductor's uh, cartoony Mario-esque hands, if you know what I mean. You consider me calming? He's looking right at me! I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Wow, ninjutsu? That sounds like a lot of difficult training. Uh, can you climb on walls? Cling to walls. What kind of question is that? Oh, who said that? I'm sorry. I blew it. Okay. Uh, I guess it was Zot saying, What kind of question is that? Okay, so... I most certainly can. <laughs> uh-huh. That's a pretty weird gesture. Like, pointing with a rose like it's your finger. I keep expecting, uh, I don't know, is it going to hand it to one of us? <laughs> what, what is that? He should, like, put it in his uh, pocket or collar or something, you know? It's, like, the normal thing to do. Um, I guess he likes keeping his hand occupied. Okay, then. Maybe he smokes and he's like, <laughs> you know what, forget about it. I'll move on. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. He's like, wow, I met an actual ninja. Awesome. You know, that's the last thing you ever want to do. You know, ninjas don't like to be noticed. If you notice them, Pretend like you didn't. It's my advice. We already talked to Rogue. Let's talk to Amy. Oh, could I please get the birthday girl's ticket? He. Why, certainly. Oh, thank you, miss. And 
and thank you for choosing our fine train, the Barrage, for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Uh, who doesn't love a good bargain? Yeah. <laughs> I guess he needs this job pretty bad. But we're still going to maintain our confident, uh, like we're not total broke asses. Nobody needs to know that, right? That information is, like, best kept secret when you're on the job. You know? People lose respect for the poor very quickly, if you know what I mean. Or they try to exploit the poor. You know what I mean? They try to hire you like, uh... Like, like, like you're, uh... You ever seen that one South Park episode where Butters, uh... He's, like, a Mexican? And he becomes, like... You know what, you can just Google that. Butters Mexican and see what you come up with. You've probably seen it. You know what I'm talking about. train just sounds so exciting it's right up my alley Ooh, who doesn't love a good thrill you see I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast Ooh, did you see the one I posted on Twitter about that skateboard guy it's like blood curdling dude that was like, that's the kind of like, ghost stories I grew up with, if you know what I mean. And it's not even a story, it's reality. Pretty fucked up. But hey man, you know, everybody has to pay their debt to society, right? Gator got pardoned, right? He's not locked up anymore, right? He's free to walk amongst us and kill again, right? No, I, I'm pretty sure he's reformed, right? Mr. Raganowski? You know, I think I had a gator deck. I think uh, a Mark Gonzalez, a Gons deck, and a gator deck. I'm remembering because they're, you know, not a whole lot of, uh, I don't know. Gator and Gonzalez. Is there a common... I don't know. Uh, maybe we should leave her to have fun. Uh, before we move along... For you... Wait a minute. Before we move along? For you, miss? What does that mean? Before we move along for you, miss! Before we move along. Oh, how fun! Thank you! Where do I use this? Oh, I see. He presented her with, like, a key or something. Before we move along here, miss! Okay, I get it. Uh, that unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. Yeah, right. <laughs> this cat's almost as weird as me. <laughs> it's funny. That's, he's, he's a little bit more spastic, if you know what I mean. He's like Screech, man, from Saved by the Bell, Dustin Diamond. Kind of reminds me of Screech. We'll use this wisely. Thank you. Last but not least. Uh, may I have your ticket, please? Oh, please? And then we get cut off. Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. A princess? Did, 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 did she say g -g -g ghost? I mean, princess? 
If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. A separate what? It just here for Amy's birthday. Then I'll hop back to my own dimension. Mm-hmm. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own. So I admit I'm a bit excited. Oh, you don't say! Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? Yeah, I think you're supposed to, dude. Or, or kneel, you know? Well, do a curtsy? Something. You better do something. Uh, what are you doing? Please, get up. Oh, why can't I not win with this group? That's it, man. Nobody left to talk to. Am I supposed to point and click around or what? Like, we already did that, the sign. Oh, happy birthday, Amy. And, uh, yep, there's the weather. So we got three images to cycle. Let's just leave it on happy birthday, Amy, okay? What about this door? No? No, Chandler, no. We got the, the robot arm, okay? I, uh, er, uh, um, uh, menu, the Mirage Express dining menu, it features chili, yeah, yeah, I know, let's look a little closer, yeah, there it is, it's, it's true, okay, let's go ahead and, I guess, save, because now that we're done talking, you know, we won't, I, maybe we should try talking to another one of the guests again. I don't think that's going to be, like, productive, though. I really don't. I could be wrong. What do we have here? A napkin dispenser? What's this? What's sticking out of this napkin holder? A crumpled up ticket. Hey, that's got to be a, a Victor's Vector. Yeah, the crocodile dude. Say, wasn't someone looking for their ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return this to its rightful owner. And, and let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. That's funny. Lost ticket added to your inventory. Well, now it's productive to talk to the guest again. Find anything yet? Yeah, dude. There's, it's all crumpled up and it says, uh, so sad to see a ticket alone and confused like this. We'll return it. I have faith. That's cool, man. I like it when, like, you know, you get to do shit like that. Because people are so happy and grateful that, like, you know, it feels good. Because, like, I've, I've, I've been in, like, a bad... That guy's shoes, I've been, like, totally, like, oh, no! And, like, when shit works out, that's pretty cool. All right, then. Just saying. Damn. I'm not a softie, I've just, I've been in those shoes. And it really sucks when you're traveling to be in those shoes. Cause you, you're nowhere close to home, if you know what I'm saying. Well, we just might have what you need. Zah. Why don't you show our friend here what we picked up? Yes. Yes, sir. Right away. Oh, there it is! It's my ticket! Thanks so much to you both! 
was really worried you'd kick me out and I'd miss the murder mystery. Is he supposed to be like wearing an apron? These guys are all in character, right? For the mystery. Costume party, cosplay scenario. Okay. I guess he's the cook in this murder mystery scenario. Oh, 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 all that here would have their hands full kicking you out. Or, or Knuckles. Or, or even Amy. <laughs> Anybody. Not, Zot's not a fighter. He's a lover. If you can believe that. Hey, you've heard about Dustin. But never mind. Oh, you're right! I would leave without a fight! <laughs> oh wait, who made me both microwave expert and security guard? No shit, right? That's double duty. Time and a half? Oh no, double duty, dude. You're right! You're both alright in my book! Thanks again for the assist! Oh, uh, of course. Just let us know if you need anything else. Okay, everyone. Time for me to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery. Oh, and that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yes? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. Absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this group seems pretty plenty capable on their own. And train. This is that. If they need any help, won't you? Oh, I'm sorry. I fucked up. Uh, this is Zot. If they need any help, won't you? Beep beep, ka ching ka ching. Quang quang, pong pong. Bling bling bum bing bing. Bling bling. There, we'll pretend it makes modem sounds, okay? Is it like a fax machine? Oh, ho, 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 ho. That's all I need to hear. You have my trust. Uh, nothing more heartwarming than a conductor in his train. Excellent, I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. I'm gonna go call my wife, yeah. <laughs> and don't worry about mucking up the place either. This train is state of the art and has systems for dealing with all that. For everything else, please talk to Zot if Zot here if you need anything. Hey, sounds good! Hey, absolutely! What will I do? Hey, everybody! Uh, goodbye now! Oh, I like that guy! Thank you all for f following the outfit guide I sent you! You all look amazing! I trust you all read your lore cards as well. Lore cards? That must be the details of their motivations. AKA motives. Because we all know that if there's a crime committed, they gotta, the criminal has to have a motive, right? The guilty party. Because nobody ever commits completely random crimes. Yeah, right. 
I suppose it makes sense lore cards aren't read out loud. Otherwise, people would know the murderer's intentions. And now on to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered and the rest suspects. I see. So, Sonic's not really dead? Alright. I was hoping something like that would be the, the case. I mean, Sonic's too fast, right? The guy can dodge bullets or whatever. Granted, I know Robotnik's a pretty clever mofo. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they will be playing. Participation is required for it is my birthday. Of course! That birthday girl makes the rolls. Uh, Sonic, you are a ship captain and you'll be stationed in the conductor car. <laughs> Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Uh, Tails, you are the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. <laughs> Indubitably! Uh, Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. You got it. Rogue, you're a business tycoon. And Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. Okay, I think Blaze's voice, I was kind of like, a, what's the difference? Alright, and, oops. And then, uh, Rogue, I'm all like, uh... Ugh, there is none. A titan, a titan of business, and a tycoon. Yeah, that's like the same fucking thing. Okay. Eh... <laughs> It sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher, and Espio, the poet. Both found in the light. Oh, that's why he's got the rose. Both found in the library. And the apron, he's a butcher. That's what I figured. All right. Ah, you hear that, Espio? We get to hang out together. And do what? Read? Um, we can. Make a tower of books or something. Yeah. Vic Vector, the doctor, the Ripper Doc in Cyberpunk 2077. And of course, Rogue, the fixer. You know, the Mrs. Johnson, if you will. Isn't that interesting? I mean, this is just, it's just the way it is, but... I, I feel at home already, right? Nah. <laughs> His shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. Go figure. Go figure. Hmm... And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you all get that? Yes. Uh, I was listening in. Hope that's okay. Oh, eavesdropping is so rude. And then again, we are living in freaking... Surveillance Central, so I mean, do you really have to admit to such things anymore? 
Isn't everybody just always like in I'm being recorded mode? All right. More than all right. You can help ensure everyone's following their rules. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, oh, a map. I have a map for each of you. You know, she looks quite serious. That I have a map for each of you. You know. Everyone's station is marked on this map as well. How convenient! <laughs> okay. Map added to your inventory. Okay. The rules of this game are as follows. There is a murderer amongst you all! The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. But you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Mm hmm So like in the same room? Everyone else must collect the evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused. So inspect everything you can. Find clues and interrogate. Isn't that a cute hat Amy's got? The birthday cupcake a hat it's a tiny hat she's steampunk <laughs> okay then not really but tiny hats are pretty damn steampunk you know right up there with goggles basically I guess I mean you know you now that goes I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? It sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone, to your stations! Mm-hmm. All right, I think we're done recording. But let me double check the time. Yeah, it's already two. Let's let's get make it through this dialogue and I'll upload something later. Ah, this is so exciting. A mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. Let's see. Uh I think I'll go with the Goosebumps one. How thrilling! I think I have Goosebumps! The same! Ah, uh, isn't it awesome? Well, it's nice Amy's having a good birthday, I suppose. Good birthdays are good... birthdays, if you know what I mean. Uh, shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. Yeah, that makes sense. So, we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping out the place. Yeah, okay. And this way, there's always a neutral party. Mm-hmm. Uh, makes sense to me. It seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. 
I don't know, Mr. Prowers looks pretty excited too, you know what I mean? What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their characters' motivations are, Amy? No. The lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. Makes sense to me. It's a bit like a, a, a clue board game style uh, gameplay, I'm guessing, like... They did it in the blank car with the blank weapon, right? And I'm, I'm just getting that kind of a vibe. I've never had a chance to do a murder mystery uh, weekend. You know what I mean? That sounds neat. And my backstory is that I was best friends with a flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. That's cool. You think Tails is a comic book nerd? Or at least a mystery novel fanatic? Probably, huh? He's, and you know, those fox uh, creatures are pretty clever. I mean, he's got two tails. He's probably twice as clever as the average fox, you know what I mean? that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. That makes sense. Most journalists seem, you know, like in Fallout 4, um, what's her face? The newsy. When I was playing Fallout 4, I had her with me. What's her face? Uh, you know, she's pretty nosy. I'm not gonna lie, this kind of sounds fun. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. Uh oh. Oh no. Ah. Ah. Oh shucks. Ah, the train started moving. It's fast. Grab on to something. What's going on? messed up you know I mean a, a train uh, like the Mirage I don't think it's supposed to be that violent when it you know sets off down the rails all right then oh you're both awake yeah I would hope so a bump to the head might require medical treatment and I didn't see anybody like that on the train yeah! It seems the train has slowed down considerably. Is everyone alright is the appropriate question to ask. Is everyone alright? Yeah, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. It seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? 
It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. It doesn't seem like it's intended. I don't think the uh, the conductor would be too happy about this. All right, we're just about ready to end this recording, so. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others, Zot. Could you get the door? And that's when we save. All right. Thanks for watching. And you know, I I think I'll be playing this again. It's pretty. It's, it's it seems it seems pretty fun. It's not quite like Phoenix Wright uh, Ace Attorney, which is like kind of what I was expecting, as I indicated earlier. But you know, it's cool. Like, I don't have to play. I mean, like I could always just like play Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, right? What's that other one, Apollo? I played that one too. All right, check you later. Thanks for watching.